Okay, this is a quick video guide on how to uh, wire and program your RX1 radio receiver into your old Chamberlain garage door system. Uh, Chamberlain door system you might have might be branded as Motorlift or Liftmaster, uh, but essentially they are uh, by principle all the same in the way that they are laid out on the reverse of the motor. You should have three numbered terminals, numbered one, two, and three, and the four styles just beneath those. Now, before we start, uh, there's a few things you're going to need. Firstly, the RX1 radio receiver that was supplied uh, with your order. The radio remote control, again, that was supplied with your order. Uh, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. And uh, what I prefer to do in terms of mounting the RX1 to the back of the motor is affix a small sticky, uh, double-sided sticky pad to the motor and then position the RX1 uh, to the back of the motor for ease of programming. Um, now, before we begin, as I mentioned, there was a three numbered terminals on the back of the motor. Uh, as you'll see on your RX-1, there are four wire terminal connections. Uh, two for your positive and negative, which are black and red, and two for your, uh, your relay output, which are blue and yellow. Uh, now, obviously, two of these connections are going to have to go into one of these contacts on the back there. So we'll start from left to right with terminal one. Uh, with that, we'll wire in the yellow contact from our relay output. Terminal two is the shared output, which requires you to wire the negative and the other relay output from the RX1, which is your black and blue. So your black and blue will wire into terminal number two. And your third terminal connection will be for your positive, which is the red, and that will wire into terminal three. Before proceeding, I'd make sure that all of these contacts are tight because this, these old motors can vibrate quite a lot, so we don't want the uh, connections to come loose. So next stage, that should be all powered and live, and uh, the RX1 should be ready to program. Now the RX1s out of the factory, they are already pre-coded with their own uh, factory code. So what we're going to have to do is clear the memory on this first. So we can do this by using the little programming button at the bottom right hand corner of the RX1, which is labelled P1. To clear the memory, we need to press and hold this down for around 10 seconds until the uh, red LED uh, comes up solid and then gives you a brief flash to tell you it's erased the memory. Once it's flashed, let go of the button and we're ready to program the new remotes. So take your new remote and uh, take it by the RX1. Press that same P1 button once this time, but release it straight away. And you'll see the LED, the red LED came on solid. Take the new remote and press the button that you want to program to it. If it's successful, you'll get a flash like it did and it will go off. If it was unsuccessful, the LED will remain lit and then we'll go off after around about 10 seconds. So that remote is now ready and programmed and ready to use. We'll just give that a try. And we're good to go and program the next one. And uh, so if we take the next one out of the bag, again I'll just show you that programming procedure once more. So you don't have to clear the memory this time because you've already done that once and you've already got one of the uh, remotes programmed into that. So if we clear the memory again, you'll just lose that remote. So to program your next one, just press that button just once and release. Red LED comes on solid. Choose the uh, remote you want to program in. Look for the brief flash and your remote, remote should be ready to use. And that's it. For more details, please visit our manuals website, which is manuals.easygates.co.uk or give us a call on 01384 569 942. Thanks very much.